Walking over to where we're gonna film. It's about 30 degrees out, so it's nice and brisk. And last night we were playing this game, where would you rather live, LA or New York? Do you have a say in that? I have to pick LA. El you say LA? Just for the weather. And I've lived in LA, and I, that's what I was going back and forth on. The weather in LA is better, but I like the New York vibe better. I just feel like it's, LA is so spread out, whereas New York, you feel like you're in the hub. Where would you guys rather live, LA or New York? Go. Side. That actually looks like, how many postcards or pictures do you see with, with that in the background? Like how many people have been on this street right here taking pictures of this? The real thing is if you haven't been on the street, where have you been? Oh, that's true too. It's my first time on the street. <laughs> I can yeah. say that. Now. Do you know what's even better about this street? is the fact that this sweet this street has a sweet greens one of my favorite places hey let me in i'm hungry what do we have here hey dr drone wow no that's i felt like what we had was a drone that's a drone i <laughs> think that thing can take away small babies and kittens from people <laughs> that's not our intention but that is our capability <laughs> hey <laughs> Seriously, it's that cold. You gotta dance here out of stay warm. Just dance here. Right, it's gonna be for tomorrow for social, so you can just say what we're doing. Ready? Go. We're freezing here! So cold! I'm um, actually we're just stretching and running. I'm gonna go up on the bridge here in a second. Let's go! Break in the new shoes that we got yesterday. I feel like I'm running on air. Nike, you really hit it out of the park. I love your shoes. Could you send some to me? It's so cold here. All right, just when I thought, dude, couldn't get any cooler. Hey, I'm Sam Colder. I shoot amazing things and do backflips in the streets. He's then doing handstands. Like, hold on, I'm gonna go handstand in Bali for a week. In another life, I want to be Sam Colbert. Our edge. Action. How you feeling after you're on, Steve? Oh, it's so brisk, but it's so nice. You get moving. Just, just the hands. Jim Shark is actually going to be dropping some gloves. I can't confirm that. <laughs> Definitely can't confirm that. After we get the shot, everyone comes over here and looks at it. Oh, that's sick. Oh, yeah, we got it. I didn't even see it. How's David feeling? I'm running inspired. Like, yeah, I feel like Dude, exactly how they're just geeking out about the camera the whole time. What, what, what camera do they have on there? So he's just asking Sam a bunch of questions. Exactly. Yo, we just flew a big ass drill through the streets of New York. We're freezing out here. Well, we got the sickest shots ever. But it's going to be epic. Uh, it's very cold. I'm feeling, I'm feeling very good, but it's cold. I mean, just if we can only have Starbucks for 15 minutes in a cafe, cafe latte or a cappuccino or something, then I'm yeah. back at it. Yeah, <laughs> like can't even bend them trying to focus. Yeah. Steve Cook's I'm Jason. Cameraman. Jason. Film guy, yeah. <laughs> this is Andreas. Yeah, what's up? The myth, the legend. Yeah. He does all of Johnny's filming. Yeah. You should go check out his channel. Johnny Edlund. Is it Edlund? Yeah. Edlund. Thanks so much, man. So that was the whole opening shot, the drone sequence getting us running towards the bridge. All I know that that inspired drone was <laughs> inspiring to say the least. Now we're gonna go warm up because 
nobody can feel anything. And then it's off for some actual running on Brooklyn Bridge. And that's going to be... And then, then, we're busting out these things. And I've never been on one. Dun, dun, dun! What a better place to learn how to ride a boosted board than New York City, right? Casey nice that eat your heart out. Come teach me! I fear for your life. Breakfast of champions, coffee, reduced fat turkey bacon, 230 calories. When you're going forward, just brace yourself, lean into it, right? And then when you're braking, Roll the thing back and just uh, lean back. Oh my gosh! Oh, look at me, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. What? Oh! What the fuck? No! What the fuck? What just happened? No! Your I don't know. I want to call my mom. This went like that. I don't know. Yo, yo, you can go get it. No way. No way. Oh my god. What is David doing? <laughs> I just thought he was going to go over there. David dropped his phone in traffic. Hey, is it done though? It's like he like slipped in like. He, like yeah, it's like how did it go a whole lane over? So that one go. Oh, see it? <laughs> oh my god. What did you do? You really I mean, like. Bro. I've never seen an iPhone that shattered and still intact. <laughs> The fact that like nothing came off really. It's because that Whoa. real carbon fiber on the back keeping it safe. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's why. <laughs> you actually, it's probably just replaced the glass. You think the inside's messed up? What do we think? Yeah, it's, uh, it's all right. It's well, the iPhone 10 <laughs> couldn't handle the cars. Opening the phone tutorial right here. <laughs> I'm just gonna show it to the Apple Store just another screen, guys. Can I get a screen on my phone, please? <laughs> First time riding a boosted board. Pick New York to do it. It was all good until you hit the wood, and then it's just shaking, shaking, shaking. And I knew I wasn't going that fast when someone was walking next to me. I felt like I was going super fast, but I think we're gonna have to get one. The only problem is there's really nowhere where I live to ride it. Although there is the one down by uh, the Virgin River. That'd be pretty dope. Boosted boards it is. We're getting them. shot on the bridge all wrapped up I'm gonna go get some real grub because it's been about five hours and all I had was that turkey egg white wrap gotta get a workout in sometime today did not work out yesterday I hate that feeling hate it more than anything today we got to fix that and then also we're gonna go to the camera store after working with all of these amazing videographers uh, we need to step up our camera game Definitely. what do you say can you get a gonna get a new lens for this it's gonna be amazing we're gonna go from this to <laughs> sad sad times we are gonna come at you with this awesome lens on our camera but B&H is closed on Saturday so B&H is this massive massive you know the B &H is always one day holiday, right? yeah they close on Saturday they're always closed Saturday <laughs> I guess that's what they said right yeah. so they're gonna be open tomorrow but I feel, oh, I feel yeah, like we, yeah, they are, they are. I feel like just, we failed just, you. Just, just. Yeah, so it's 
freezing in here. We've been working all day. It's been a goal of mine to just really stay on top of this whole program. Today's a chest day. If it was leg day, I might not got out of, out of bed. But it's chest day, so it's 6.15 p.m. We had dinner at 7.45. That means I'm in here to do work. Not to talk to you guys, to do work. So this is gonna be a little bit faster of an edit. Um, Cause I gotta get, I gotta do less of this and more of this. Warm up, always on my chest day. Warming up shoulders, some chest, and then actually we always do a back exercise too for a warm up. So warm up usually takes five, 10 minutes. Making sure you do that when it's cold outside or when you're bench pressing, it'll save you in the long run. Just trust me, warm up. I've been doing this long enough to know if you're traveling, if you're coming to the gym every day and not warming up, you're gonna get injured on this next exercise, which is the bench press. Today, the program calls for, so again, swole program. Week three, into week three, um, I have 10, eight, six reps. So last week was 15 reps. Um, this week, 10, eight, six. So 270, 290, and 310. I'm gonna see how good this, I'm gonna see how good this uh, equipment is here in the gym and see how it compares back home to fitness culture. Because I'm pressed for time, have dinner, a lot of times when you're traveling, you don't wanna spend all your time in the gym, so, I'm gonna make sure I hit my abs in between, so supersetting abs. Also, my mobility. You can't skimp on mobility. Every day we have some mobility work, so what I'm gonna be doing is I have 150 seconds rest in between these sets. I'm gonna be in my pigeon stretch, I'm gonna be making sure I'm doing the mobility, doing my abs, and supersetting. energy to get through it. Next superset, we're going low to high cable fly. This is going to be a nice one for that lower outer pec. And as we come up, we're working to a little bit more the inside. So outside, here, outside of the pack as we come up transitioning more to that inside super set that with just a swiss ball roll out feet gonna be on the ball hands on the bench tucking the knees to the chest keeping the abs and butt tight the entire time Last exercise for chess. We got our TRX cable fly. It's gonna require a little bit more stability than the cables in the gym, on the road, they don't have every single machine I like. This is a good one that if they do have, you can do this. So depending on how strong you are, you're gonna set up higher up. If you're not as strong, if you're quite, if you're really strong in this, you're gonna to wanna to come back all the way to the wall. First episode. First episode. I've been watching too many Game of Thrones. 
first exercise is the rolling tricep extension. So this is a great one. This is our, our strength builder for the triceps. We're gonna overload them here. A normal skull crusher, roll the way back to the forehead and then pressing up here to the forehead, rolling it down the body and then pressing it up. So if you can't, this is a great one to overload the weight. It gets too heavy here. We're actually just gonna be pressing up. Slow down eccentric part and then roll concentric. Last thing here, easy tricep day. We have our mass, our mass builder, our strength, and then we have a superset. Overhead French press, long head, and then we got a rope push down. That didn't take more about, about 45 minutes. I still have 15 minutes to hit list today. So I probably did seven outside walking around. So I'm gonna do 10 minutes. I'm compromising with myself. 10 minutes of list and then it's time to grab. Yo, day two done in the books. This is me in my bed, in my room, in my messy room. If I go to bed right now, I'd get eight hours of sleep. I've gotten four hours and five hours, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. Working today in New York, running across the Brooklyn Bridge today, just is like, it's it's just crazy. It's, it's, it's surreal to think. And working with the people that we're working with, so much talent. And the cool thing is, is no one has an ego. You know, whether it's David, all these guys here are young bucks, 24, 22, 20. Um, Sam, Colder, and then Johnny. Johnny, Sam, David, all such such great guys, all amazing followings. And for me, I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm this guy that, you know, I don't make dope YouTube videos like these guys. Like, I'm not making crazy travel vlogs and things like that, but it inspires me to be better because I see what they're doing and I see how hard they're working and perfecting their craft. And I feel like, you know, no matter what it is you do in life, people always ask me, Steve, how do, how do I, how do I get into this? Just do what you have passion for and do it to the best of your ability. If you do that, you will always have a spot at the table. You always have a spot because usually I think, I believe the things that we're passionate for are usually the gifts that God has given us. So typically what you're passionate about lines up with what you're good at a lot of the times. So I think that that is installed as a gift that's given to you by God. And I think that it's no coincidence that I grew up, I had the gift, I could, you know, lift heavy weights. My sophomore year in high school, bench 345, and just loved, loved moving iron, that it, it led to this. You know, where, where there's a will, there's a way. I could never have imagined when I was in high school doing this YouTube thing, but it's given me such a such a life, such a career, and I, th I don't think I always do a good job of having a platform with that. You know, when I when I start feeling insecure, or I start feeling like, oh my gosh, I don't I don't belong here. I, I just think it's it's not me. It can't be about me. It has to be about other people. You, when you find, and I don't feel like I've done a good job of this lately, but when you find ways to serve other people, and for me that was kind of always with expos, meeting people at expos, hearing people's stories. When you have that in life, you will always, you know, that passion and hard work where that meets, and in the right capacity, meaning service with a good, with a good heart, and try not to make it about you. And I've been definitely guilty of making things about me, getting caught up in Instagram stuff, with YouTube stuff, subscribers, followers. But follow what you're passionate about. Do it to the best of your ability, and then serve others. You do that, and you will always, always feel good when you rest your head on the pillow at the end of the night. So. I'm gonna get some sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching these vlogs. It really means a lot to me. We're closing in on a million. That's the goal to to push hard to that. It's it's, it's no, nothing more than a goal that I have. And I think it's good to set goals. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.